everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. Originally when I bought this dollhouse, the idea was I was gonna renovate it completely over on shores. Maybe you have seen the first two. But ever since I posted about it, you guys have been flooding the comments asking for a full length video on it. And as always, if you ask, I will definitely do it. And honestly, I'm happy. I prefer making long form videos over short form. So when you guys were asked for it, I was excited too. So in today's video, we are going to pick up where the shorts left off. If you haven't seen the first one where I introduced the dollhouse, here it is right now. So I bought an antique dollhouse. I remember when I was young, my grandpa who has since passed away got me this adorable dollhouse and I remember playing with it every single day. I loved it so much. And when I saw this dollhouse, I just felt like it needed a breath of new life into it. It's complete with adorable wallpaper and pink shag rug. Although I love the vintage look, I think we can give it a renovation that plays into the era while dealing with some much needed repairs. It looks as though no one has used this balcony in a while other than this unfortunately dead spider. Along with the house came some adorable furniture that is also in need of some refurbishment. By the way, if you're curious what song I'm dancing to, my favorite being this toilet that is literally porcelain. Look at the detail on this grandfather clock. As well, it came with some cute fabrics that we might be able to put to use. Oh, and did I mention it also has an attic? Which room should we renovate first, and what color palette do you want to see? And then in the other one, we also renovated the kitchen, which I'm so happy with how it turned out. It is so cute. And in today's video, we are gonna be tackling the bedroom because you know what, sleep is important. So it was first food and now it's sleep. And then next, probably the washroom, because that's important. So to start us off, we've got demolition. Starting with ripping out the carpet, which normally would be a very strenuous job, but thankfully, this is a dollhouse. In the kitchen, I opted to keep the vintage wallpaper that was already there. But in this room, personally, I'm just not as big of a fan of the design, so I decided to remove this wallpaper. Don't get me wrong, I can appreciate this look, but it just doesn't go with the style I have planned for the bedroom. When I asked you guys about design, a lot of you wanted me to make like a mini version of my own house in it, but I want to do kind of like a mix, like new style mixed with my style, with the era of the home all together. But as I've said in the shorts, make sure to let me know down below if you have any preferences for the house because I can switch it up. I wanna make this like satisfying for you guys. So if it doesn't look super modern and you're wondering why, that is why. That was a lot easier than I was expecting to get that off. I thought that was gonna be way harder. But then I was really surprised with how not easily this other piece of wallpaper came off. Okay, so now that we have the carpet and the wallpaper and the window coverings out, we have a empty slate. I love seeing it at this level because I can see just like the pieces of wood and how handmade it is. Like, that's so fun. Like, you can just tell there was a lot of time and effort into making this. So I'm excited that we are making it over and giving it new life. I always knew there was gonna be some reason that I hoarded all of these little pieces of wallpaper, and this is the moment. I had a few to choose from. You've probably seen most of these if you're keeping up with my renovation videos. This adorable dog wallpaper that's in the entryway, this floral one that goes up in the dining room, this blueberry one in the basement, or this muted flower one, which you probably haven't seen before because it's actually extras from some wallpaper we put up over at my mom's house. I decided to go with that one just to bring a calming presence to the bedroom. I used the original wallpaper pieces to trace out for the size. wallpaper will always be a tedious task, but I will say in the dollhouse, it was pretty difficult because it's like my hands are giant compared to the room. That was difficult. I'm definitely showing you the most aesthetic shots, but trust me, this wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Mm. 
Now the carpet we removed earlier, I love a cute pink shag moment. It had to stay, but it needs a little wash. It was very, very dirty. As I scrubbed it, the water was like turning brown. So I was very happy with the decision to wash it. And then I popped in the dryer and ta-da, just like new pink shag rug. We're keeping the holiday giveaways happening. All right, by now you probably know what's happening. We're giving away a Toto Matoshi dress in every single video this month. And we're giving away gift cards in Vlogmas on shorts. So make sure to check those out too. This week's dress for the giveaway, they're all so beautiful. If you wanna win this dress, make sure to check the description on how to enter. Now the windows were looking a little bare, so I went to my sewing room to design some floor length curtains. I was looking through all the fabric and I landed on this pink satin fabric along with a lace trim piece. I quickly sewed that all together and ironed it out. And one of them is a floor length and one of them is more like a Roman shade, but I really like how they look together. One of my favorite parts of making over this dollhouse is the furniture pieces. Here is the bed frame I chose. There actually was a bed frame in the original furniture pieces that I got with the dollhouse, but it was too small for what I was looking for. So I used this one and I painted it deep chocolate brown. And then of course we needed some bedding. I made a sheet and some adorable pillowcases. There is something about these pillows. They are so cute and little and this little tucked piece of the pillowcase, I'm obsessed with it. And I couldn't believe it. I was looking through all the fabric in my sewing room and I didn't love any of it for the blanket. Originally I was gonna go for a blue, but it was looking too simple in the room. And then out the corner of my eye, I saw a shirt hanging in my closet that looked like a perfect pattern. So RIP to this shirt, but it was worth the sacrifice because the bedding looks great. This throw pillow became a problem. I tried two different patterns on it. This is giving me serious problems. I don't like this cover either. Is this one look cute actually? The original actually looks better. I will be the first to admit I have developed a, you know, slight obsession with buying miniature pieces. I mean, how could I not? Look how cute this stuff is. A mini purse, come on. A sewing kit is perfect. A lot of you have also been asking where I've been buying all of the mini pieces and it's a few different places. If you're looking to buy miniature things, I would suggest looking on Etsy and also on eBay. So yeah, that's what's been feeding my mini obsession. Also these mini frames where you can put any artwork you want in the room. I decided to highlight this bumblebee and flower from scrapbook paper I had lying around, but you could literally put whatever you want in there. And then with a little bit more staging, the room was complete. difficult time with the pillow, but I think the original looks good. Oh, it looks adorable. Oh, what kid wouldn't love to have this? Right? Eh? What a beautiful room. I am loving 
loving the before and after, still staying true to the air of the home, but an elevated version. And now we have the kitchen and the bedroom done. Which room should we do next? I'm thinking the house still needs a living room, a bathroom, a laundry room, and a hangout area in the attic. But if you guys have any input, please comment down below what you'd like to see in the house, like if there's certain rooms or certain colors or anything. Let me know down below before I get to it so that I can incorporate some of your ideas. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this more in-depth video about the dollhouse makeover. If you like the long form, I can definitely keep doing it. I'll also be doing it on shorts for people who like this content more smaller, short. But yeah, I love making long form, so as long as you guys are enjoying it, I will absolutely keep doing the dollhouse makeover over here as well. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!